Hey, wanna see what I liked in March? <laughs> Oh my god, I can't believe I've done a favorites video for every month of the year so far. I'm killing 2022 with favorites videos at least. <laughs> I hope you guys are having a good day and I hope just my happiness can um, brighten your day. Some people love favorites videos, some people think that they're outdated or boring, but I hope my energy can just bring some happiness to your day. That's all I wish for you guys watching at home or at the, the lake or at a circus. Or maybe you're on a Ferris wheel right now. Hmm, that'd be cool. Maybe you're in the ocean. <gasps> Are you okay? Anyways, am I okay? <laughs> I'm just gonna show you guys what I've been loving for this month or for last month. And I'm gonna show you at the end the things I've been hating. If you're into that, so we'll do a love-hate relationship with March. Comments. First thing that I've been loving is this. Okay. <laughs> As you can see, I'm like halfway done it. I bought this so long ago and I only just started recently using it. I am obsessed. So I have it on my arms right now. You can't really notice it on camera, but in person, you just look like glowy. It's not that dramatic. It's not like sparkly. Like you're not Edward Cullen, but it looks like this. It's super classy looking. It's by Patrick Ta for Body Major Glow Body Oil. And uh, I have a dream. That's that's the shade name. <laughs> I like how I just paused. I was like, I have a dream. <laughs> Me actually having a dream in that moment. <laughs> Me daydreaming. Sorry. Okay. Anyways. So it literally just sprays on. I've showed it on the vlog channel, I think, before. It just honestly gives you just that, that little boost of glow. <laughs> honestly, do I recommend this? This is why this is funny, because I like it. I bought it. Um, but I wouldn't recommend it, and I wouldn't repurchase it. <laughs> the reason why is because this is the mini size. It's $30. Now, I'm, I'm in Canada, so it's Canadian prices. But I don't think this is worth $30, just in my opinion. The quality is good, but, okay, wait, it's worth the $30. I don't want to buy, I don't want to spend the $30 on it. Wait, maybe would I? I don't know. We'll see. I'm so quirky. It's one of my favorites because I've been using it a lot in the month. Um, I just love that little extra glow. Anyway, uh, moving on to um, this e.l.f. liquid liner. This is the last makeup item that I've been loving. I've talked about this a lot, but I just repurchased it. And it's so cheap. It's so affordable. It's good quality. I talk about all the time but I've been again loving it I literally it's cheap it's drugstore and it's better than like in my opinion like all of the high-end liquid liners that I've ever tried and it's, it's this little sponge tip applicator and I'm gonna show you guys right here my eyes bare um, and then with liner on them and then again with lashes on so it literally goes on so black and dark and it's really easy to create a wing you can create a really like dramatic wing it doesn't like dry out you don't have to keep shaking it i've had liners liquid liners that you have to keep shaking or like you're in the middle of a wing and it just like kind of you know it gets like dry and crusty um or like clumpy or just like stops being as vibrant this one has never given me issues like i can use this and use it and use it okay my next favorite is my probably my top favorite in march me discovering my love and addiction to selenium <laughs> you don't know what that is Oh, well, I'll tell you because I researched it for like three days straight. <laughs> I asked Austin to get me. <laughs> I just pulled this out of the recycling bin, by the way. Recycle, everyone. To pick me up uh, water. And I said Fiji because Fiji's my favorite. He's like, they didn't have Fiji, so I got you smart water. And I was like, what is this? Like, this is not smart water. Like, what is this lavender? Like, what? It looked very close to this, and I hate sparkling water. <laughs> Gross. So I thought it was a sparkling water, and I was like, no. Right? <laughs> no, I was wrong. It was said antioxidant, and I was like, and then it said vapor. I'm a vape. I'm a vape god now. <laughs> Distilled water beverage with antioxidant selenium. And I was like, what is that? So I have literally stocked my fridge with these. I am so obsessed with this selenium. I tasted it. It's like my taste buds were made for this. 
I don't know, mineral? <laughs> me saying I researched it for three days, also me? I don't know what it is. <laughs> it tastes like chlorine. You dove into a pool, and then when you came up, you have like water in your nose, you're like, and it kind of goes in the back of your throat. That's what this tastes like. So it might not be appealing to everyone. I thought it wasn't gonna be appealing to me. It is. <laughs> I love selenium. These are so good. I most of the time drink distilled water um, in my Brita uh, to reduce plastic, but now I have this obsession. So we're just gonna have to deal with my obsession for the meantime. <laughs> Go selenium, me. Caution, not intended for children. What? Why? Why? That's scary. What? A child can't drink this water bottle? Okay, um, this is the official statement from Samantha, aka Pink Sparkles. Um, I personally like selenium, but, um, please read labels before consuming any product that I mention in this video. Thank you. <laughs> My lawyer made me do that, just kidding. This Snow Fairy, uh, perfume that I got for Christmas, there's like this much left, so I have been loving the Snow Fairy, and it looks like a gardening, you can just look. I feel like a gardener when I do this. I'm like, ooh, water the flowers. <laughs> and the weeds. It literally smells so good. And whenever I walk by anyone, when I spray it, people always say it smells so good. It's like bubblegum cotton candy. It's so girly and flirty, fun and fresh. Um, and it just smells like you're a walking candy. And I would love to eat that cavity, girl. These have been my favorite snack of the month. That's last month. This month, I'm trying to eat better. But last month, this has been my favorite snack. I've always liked these. Recently just bought like a handful of them at the Asian market. <laughs> Literally a handful. Put it into the cart. So they are by GGE. They are wheat crackers and they're barbecue cubes and I love these. They are the perfect. They're like little tiny condensed ramen noodles with like the best seasoning on them. They're so so good. I feel like they're like barbecue and I can taste like soy sauce a little bit in there too. They're they're addicting. I feel like a favorite video people don't like show snacks or food or like movies that they've been liking or stuff like that. Like it's just like makeup which is fine but sometimes I get bored of that and I want to know like everything you've been loving. Oh also what did I write down here? Uh, oh yeah I've been loving um <laughs> I love that. I feel like I'm a nudist now. Um I I don't know what it is, but I'm just like love laying in my bed naked. <laughs> it sounds so stupid. Why would I talk about this? Anyway, I just feel so free. I feel like I'm going to become a nudist at some point or at some point in when I'm vlogging, um, a nipple is going to slip out. But free the nipple anyway, right? Link in my bio um, on Instagram. <laughs> okay, another thing I wrote down here is my friends. Um, I've been hanging out with friends so much in the month of March and they have been Truly like my support system um, as you guys know, I've been going through a lot I'm good. Like I'm, I feel like I'm doing it in a way better place like I've talked about um, I wasn't really posting a lot. Um, my content was kind of dull I was like hey everyone like welcome to the vlog like I'm brushing my teeth I just feel like I'm getting back to me and it feels good and I do really just wanted to credit my friends um, They really support me. They give me ideas for YouTube. They encourage me. They're always there to talk and listen I just really 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 appreciate them and I have a really good group of people around me And I just it's just something that I really appreciate so that's what I wrote down and they were played a big part in my March favorites. <laughs> Speaking of that, uh, what goes along with that is this card game. Okay, this is called We're Not Really Strangers. Okay, this card game you should get. <laughs> and you can play just like with two people or you can play with a group. And me learning card games is like boop beep boop beep boop. But this one is easy. It's just a question. It's literally, you just pick a question and you read it. So sometimes the questions can get heated. Whoever chooses the question has to pick somebody to answer. So it's like you're on the hot seat in front of everyone. And the questions can either make or break your friendship. The questions will literally be like, in this room right now, <laughs> Who's the worst at keeping a secret? And it'll be like, in details, why? So it's a good like relationship building thing, um, but it's also like good for friendships. I would suggest it as a drinking game, but hey, like it could make it a fun time. It could either go really good or really bad. Like you could get to know somebody a lot more. Um, it just, it was really fun. I recommend it if like you wanna get to know somebody more, maybe you're in a new relationship, um, <laughs> or maybe uh, you wanna spice things up or maybe get to know, maybe you've been with somebody for like seven years and you want to ask more like in-depth questions like it's it's a really good game it's a good game but um be warned you might get into a fight 
The last favorite that I've been loving before I get into movies and song are um, pickle juice as a chase. Now, it's April and I'm doing dry April, meaning I'm not drinking in the month of April. And it is the sixth and I have not had a drop of alcohol. <laughs> yeah! Dry April, dry April. But March, um, I felt like I found the best chase and it's pickle juice. Like you don't taste any alcohol. Please only drink if you're of age. Please only drink a few eggs. So all my pickles right now are like dried up little like <laughs> Little like warty logs just dried up because I drank all the pickle juice. My favorite movie of the month. I have seen it before, but it was so long ago, and I rewatched it, and I refell in love with it, and I watched it three times in the month. It's The Taking of Deborah Logan. It, it's scary. It's scary. It's it's a horror movie. So if you like horror movies, there you go. And my favorite song of the month. I could not stop singing and playing, and it was an addiction. Is before I knew it by Mason Ramsey. Addicted, couldn't stop playing it. I know I'm not, I've always said like I don't really like country music, but I don't know why. The girl's coming around to it. But some people wouldn't consider that country, so we're not even gonna get into that debate. Let's just go into the items I hated. <laughs> so my first thing that I hated in the month, I love these, okay? I love these. Why? Why? <laughs> what? Why are they in a clump? Why? And I have to go like, look at them. Look at, look at all the space. And they lit. Why are they like that? Is this anyone else's? Should I not be eating them? They're not expired, are they? No, no, they're not. They're not expired. They literally came like that. Should I not be eating them? Should I, I don't know. Somebody tweet me and let me know. But these are my Nature's Bounty <laughs> hair, skin and nails with collagen. And I can't because like I'm like literally having to like go scrape in my nails. I don't want to like, you know, you shouldn't be rough with your nails and I like, have to be and I don't want to bring a knife and or maybe I should just like come and like cut them all up. I don't know. But anyways, this is the thing that I hated in the month as well as this zit in the middle of my forehead. This zit was bothering me so much. I... Oh, like, ah, I literally had a third eye. Um, I popped it multiple times. I couldn't stop picking at it. That's probably why it kept getting worse. And then I got one beside it because I kept like picking it and like messing with it. When I put makeup on, it covers it up. That's wonderful. But when I take it off, it's like, oh, people are noticing. And ah, I just hate this sit. It just is annoying me. I don't like looking at it. So um, when I would take selfies without makeup, I would go like this. I'd be like, you know, people are like, like shy, like, I'm shy. But it was to cover up my giant ass zit. And I, ugh, right smack dab in the middle of my forehead. It couldn't have been like off, like here or here. So when people are talking to me, I don't know if they're looking at my eyes or if they're just staring at the little gremlin growing out of my skin. So those are the two things I hated. So that will conclude my favorites video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I love you guys so much. I wish you guys all the happiness in April. I hope you guys didn't get fooled too hard on April Fool's Day. And I love you guys so much. And I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye guys.